What's up guys? Today, I will continue with the next video in the ESP32 and LVGL series. In today's video, we will learn how to add GIF animations to a project in Squareline Studio and create a loading screen like intro video. All right, let's get started. First, you need to find a GIF that you like. Then, go to the website easygif.com, upload the GIF, and make some adjustments before importing it into Squareline Studio. Here, I'm using a GIF of Arisu, a virtual character from the game Blue Archive. You can crop or resize it to fit your TFT LCD screen. Then, click on the scissors icon to shorten the GIF. In the Cutting Options section, choose Cut by Frame Number. Here I select 20 frames. Note that the more frames you use, the more flash memory it will consume on the ESP32. After that, click on the split icon to export the frames as a zip file, then proceed to download and extract it. After extracting, you'll see the static image files. Next, we'll convert these images into transparent PNG. To do this quickly, go to the website removal.ai, upload the images, and the site will automatically convert them into transparent images. I've converted all of them into transparent PNG. After that, I just need to copy the folder containing the newly created images into the asset folder of your Squareline Studio project that I created earlier. In Squareline Studio, go to File and select Project Settings. Make sure you've selected LVGL version 9.1. Then, set the UI export paths and click Apply Changes. In the Widget tab, I select the image widget and choose the first image. Remember to arrange the images in the correct order according to the GIF frames. Name the image object. Here, I'll name it Arisu. Then, go to the Animation tab, name the animation Arisu, and click Add Animation. In the Manage Animation tab, set the Test Object to Arisu. This is the name of the image widget you set earlier. Next, select Image Frame and click Add Property. I'll configure the image frame. For the start value and end value, set them as follows. In this example, I'm using 18 frames, so the values will range from 0 to 17, so I set the end value to 17. You can adjust the speed as needed. Set Loop Count to Infinite. In the Image Set section, Select the image set you named earlier here. Click the play button to run the simulation. As you can see, it runs quite smoothly. Next, I'll add a bar widget, and when the bar reaches 100%, it will switch to the second screen. In the Widget tab, scroll down to the Visualizer section, select the bar widget, and drag it onto the screen. Then, you can configure it in the Style Settings tab. Feel free to customize it as you like it doesn't have to match mine. For the max and min values, you can leave them as default. I've created a new screen. You can configure widgets to control or read sensor values, display charts, as I showed in previous videos. Here I'll just add a text label. I won't create the event in Squareline Studio. Instead, I'll handle it in the firmware. The UI design is now complete. Next, export the UI and modify the firmware in VS Code. First, go to the file lvconfig.h and enable the font size you used in Squareline Studio. Set 0 to disable and 1 to enable. Go back to the main.cpp file and scroll down to the void setup section to run the animation you created earlier. Next, Go to the UI.C file and copy the name of the animation function you created earlier. In my example, it's Arisu Animation. I'll copy and paste it into main.cpp. 
then replace the objects accordingly. For the obj parameter, I'll replace it with UI Arisu and set the delay to zero. Next, I'll create an event so that when the bar value reaches 100%, it will switch to screen 2. I'll declare a variable called value and set its default value to 0. This variable will increment until it reaches 100, then stop. Next, I'll create a timer variable using LVTimer to update the value every 50 milliseconds. I'll name it bar timer. Next, I'll create a callback function for the LV timer and name it set value. Then, I'll set the range for UI bar 1 from 0 to 100. Increase the value variable over time. Then, I'll set this value for UI bar 1 using the LV bar set value function. I won't use animation for the bar, so I'll turn it off. I will create a condition as follows. When the value reaches 100%, the timer will be deleted, and the screen will switch to screen 2. Delete the current timer using LV Timer Dell. Then set the timer to waiting state. Next, use the screen transition function. Here, I add a move to left effect with a duration of 500 milliseconds. Remember to call the timer function in the void setup section to run the feature. So, the firmware configuration is complete. Next, you just need to compile and upload it to the ESP32 to see the result. The source code of the video is provided below in the description. You can download and refer to it. If you have any questions or issues, please comment below and I will try to answer them. Thank you for taking the time to watch the video. If you find it helpful, please leave a like, share, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get the latest updates from my channel.